Today, on behalf of the Project Committee, I, Keith Merrill. I, Eric Long. Want to give you an update on the progress of the golf club and racket club project. The update will be broken down as follows. Racket Center, Administration Building, the Golf Reception Area, the Golf Clubhouse, names of the new rooms and buildings, and finally the project financials. The Racket Center is approximately 80% complete. It is still our goal to have the center completed by February 4th. A lot depends on meeting this date, such as the final inspection and receiving a certificate of occupancy. Eric will now update you on our current construction status. We're here at the Racket Center. We're getting the first lift of asphalt, as you can see over there. It's looking well. See, uh, the first lift of asphalt is in, and then once we're almost 100% complete, they'll, they'll do the second lift of asphalt. As you can see over here, this is where the parallel parking spots are. And if you pan over here near the sidewalk, this is the other area of parking. And then the, the roadway is, is straight ahead. All right, we're on the pickleball side. If we're right under the uh, covered patio area. As you can see, we have uh, fans that will be going up. Those are where those posts are in the center. That will be a nice uh, water station. Uh, seating area in the middle, so you've got a, a nice space here. The actual pickleball courts themselves, uh, we just have to do the white lines and the net posts. And then the last portion will be the sound proofing that will go from eight feet down and it will go all the way around the whole perimeter of the pickleball courts. Just right outside the racket center. If you can see here, this is a sidewalk that uh, will go from Island Sound Circle to Pelican Sound Boulevard. Around the perimeter of the Racket Center will be pavers, along with the shaded sail area as well. At the front of the Racket Center, the gutters have been put up. The uh, hardy plank has started to put around the perimeter, and that will start going down the siding of all the areas. And uh, they're finishing up uh, some of the window trims and then we'll start with the landscaping here next week. At the pro shop, finishing up some last details. As you can see in the ceiling, they have the grid in, all the lights are in, all the HVAC returns are in, the uh, walls are all primed and ready to go. They'll put the, uh, start putting in uh, all the uh, base colors as well. Um, all the display pieces are gonna be put in and within the next two weeks. Um, all the uh, fixtures are in. And we're moving through. A multi-purpose room, and you can see uh, some things that still need to be done. The flooring will be uh, put in at the end of this week. Um, the base coats for all the walls will be installed, and then the uh, acoustic ceiling will be going in as well. All right, we are located in the kitchenette. Um, as you can see, the uh, FRP has been installed. All the plumbing and electrical is in place. The grid for the ceiling are in place. The flooring will be done at the end of this week and then we'll be installing all the equipment at the end of this month. All right, we are now in the restroom area. They're putting in the flooring today and should be finished up by next week. Okay, so they'll be finishing up all the uh, trim around the perimeter here for the soldier course. And uh, the shaded sails will be the last portion just to make sure we don't get any dust on them. So that will be installed towards the end of this month. And, and you can see here we have all the tile that's being installed this week. All right, you can see on the back side of the building they're putting in a hardy plank that's going up the wall. That will continue on the front of the building as well. And we'll finish up the ceiling uh, towards the end of next week. The tennis court area, eight tennis courts. We'll, be, we'll have a canopy over top. You can see the poles over here. The uh, water station, ice station will be right here. All the sidewalks have been poured. On either side, you have uh, bleachers that will be installed towards the end of the project. Uh, so we're moving along. Taking the parking spaces down here, we have a total of 69 parking spots. 
I am located where the uh, maintenance shed will be in this area. They'll be pouring the uh, concrete this week and the rest of the sidewalk that will go towards the uh, river club. We're going to be starting on the landscaping uh, this week. They'll start with the irrigation and then continue with uh, the landscaping throughout the property. Today is January 15th. We have a lot of things going on today. Behind you, they're uh, putting on the roof for the building. And if you pan over, they're, they're uh, tying in all the pavers that has the soldier course, tiles going in in the uh, restrooms, and they're finishing up the uh, pickleball courts with the rest of the paint. All right, we're in the maintenance room. They are putting in all the electrical and all the audio visual, so finishing up for the next two weeks. Thank you. We have a busy next three weeks coming up. Here are some of the highlights of what the racket center and some of the things that are going to be completed within the next three weeks. Install of the metal roof, a building paver installation, the maintenance building installation, the rest of the uh, concrete sidewalks along with the pavers as well, landscaping and irrigation, interior painting and exterior painting, the floor installation, uh, the install of the equipment for the kitchenette, all the shaded sails for the patio area. Our still our goal is to uh, be open by February 4th. You know, the, like Mr. Merrill uh, mentioned, we have all the certificate of occupancy that needs to take place before we can open the doors. For liability issues, it is critical that no one, unless authorized, enter the construction site until we receive the certificate of occupancy. This includes any use of the new courts, driveway, and so forth. We appreciate your cooperation in this regard. Next, let's talk about the administration building. Design of the renovation of this building has been completed. We are currently out for quotes. We expect quotes back by the end of January. This project includes renovation of the interior office area, refacing of the exterior, and two new restrooms that can be accessed from the exterior for our golfers on the go. We expect quotes back by the end of January. We have allowances built into the project for this facility. Golf reception area. We are in the final stages of design for the Porta Cachere. This area will provide a very organized, impressive spot for guests and members to drop off and pick up their clubs. Goal is to have a final design and quote package by the end of this month. We also have an allowance in the project budget for this area. Next, we will discuss the golf clubhouse. This part of the project has been a challenge for us. One word sums it up, roof. We need a roof. So where is the roof? Up until last Friday, it was on the engineer's computer. As you know, the old clubhouse ceiling peaked from east to west. And the new clubhouse, the roof peaks north to south to take advantage of our beautiful view of the ninth hole and make the room brighter. Also, the south wall was moved out to make the dining room larger. When the structural engineers and architect began work on the shop drawings for the structure, they ran into several engineering issues. Also, when we opened up the building walls, we discovered some lack of integrity in the foundation and steel structure. All of these issues have been resolved, and with the re-engineering completed, the structural steel and roof truss fabrication can begin. We now expect to have the roof in place by March. Once the building is under roof, the project will move along as planned. All necessary materials to move forward are either on order or are already here. Such items as kitchen equipment, floor tile, carpet, cabinetry, light fixtures, and so forth are available. 
It is still our goal to have the golf club opening by early fall. While well, it looks like in the meantime, not much is going on. A lot of work has been completed. Here is Eric to bring you up to date on what is going on now. All right, we're here at the golf club pouring the, the much needed uh, tie beams. This is the last portion that needs to be take place before we start putting on the roof trusses. What's going on right now at the golf club? The tie beams are being poured, all steel columns and trusses are in production, grading for the pavilion space and terrace are underway, pouring of the pavilion and pro shop exterior columns are being poured, and our goal is still to be completed by September 2019. The project committee met and made the following recommendation to the board on the names of the various rooms, areas, and buildings of the new facilities. Why is this important? Signs need to be ordered and our website will need to be updated, especially our reservation system. The new dining room will be called the Vista. The old waterside room will become the Lakes View. The new bar area will be called the Pelican Pub. The all-purpose room and the clubhouse, which will be off the lobby, will be called the Palm Room. The pavilion will be the pavilion. The outside seating area on the south side will be called the Terrace. The Pro Shop will be the Golf Pro Shop. The tennis and pickleball facility will become the Racket Center. The covered area in that area will be called the Racket Center Patio. The sale area will become the Shades. The all-purpose room, which is in the Racket Club building, will become the Courtside. And the Administration building will be the Administration offices. We are within the approved $14.1 million project scope, and we have in our remaining contingency funds $212,000. Thanks for your patience as we continue to work on this most important project to strive to be the most desirable bundled community in Southwest Florida. Thank you.